Michael, you have been on the forefront of uh, automation related to marketing and creating more efficiencies in global content space. So uh, I was wondering what your advice would be uh, for companies to leverage market automation so they can enhance their global uh, outreach or expand globally. Right. Well, well, Nish, thanks again for, for having me. Um, it, it is, it's, it's quite an interesting field. In fact, uh, what we're finding today is that global organizations are, are now challenged more than ever uh, to, to create very personalized experiences uh, as they begin to have, again, global conversations with future customers and, and existing okay. customers. Okay. And so what we find is that um, with the, certainly the onslaught of content that's being developed, third-party content, content that's being developed internally, um, is that it's, it's one of those things that becomes quite unruly uh, unless you have a uh, kind of a, a modern marketing technology stack. Right. And so we're talking about kind of state-of-the-art web content management systems. We're talking about state-of-the-art marketing automation systems like Marketo. Uh, we're also talking about you know, content marketing systems. And so there's so much content that truly is being developed that without these tools and without a, a robust technology uh, stack, it becomes virtually impossible to manage. So um, again, for, for companies that are just embarking yes. uh, on that journey, yes. um, I would say you, you absolutely need to invest and, and take a look at what your web experience looks like and have um, kind of build for the future, if you will. Okay. So don't pigeonhole yourself with a, with a solution that, that's not going to be open enough to allow you to have that flexibility into analytics and reporting. Mm -hmm. um, um, from a marketing and automation perspective, there are some fantastic systems out there that, that can be used and, and should be used. Um, and again, they, the beautiful thing about a lot of the technology that's being developed in the cloud today mm -hmm. is that as an organization, you don't, need to, you, know, you don't need to invest in a multi-million dollar solution to get the benefits out of it. Mm -hmm. You can actually start small and then as, as you grow and as, as your requirements grow, uh, you, can, you can build into those solutions. Mm -hmm. And that's similarly what we've done with CloudWords as well. Uh, okay. we, we basically have a cloud-based solution that uh, seamlessly integrates with the marketing technology stack, uh, stacks that exist today, mm -hmm. and uh, truly becoming the, the global backbone uh, for all multilingual content, regardless of where it's created, stored, and shared. So if a company is just starting and may not know how much or how, where they will expand, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of scalability, uh, what, what would the scalability possibility of uh, automation tools like CloudWords be? How scalable are they? Massively so. Okay. So it's it's one of those things where we, we find today where the old world, uh, you know, when I when I started in, in the localization industry, it used to be um, I need to have my entire website localized into ten languages, right. and we all know what those ten languages are going to be, okay. and uh, I need to have all of my content, and I need to have all of my partner enablement content, and my education and support, and companies aren't doing that anymore. Uh -huh. um, they're beginning to test with marketing automation with demand generation systems to see where that demand lies and in okay. which countries. So it's a, it's a far cheaper way, a far more cost-effective way yeah. to do that. Um, it also allows you to, to A-B test, uh, whereas that once was fairly difficult, it allows you to A-B test in, in different markets where you believe you might have some, some demand. Mm -hmm. So we find companies kind of flipping that, the model a bit on its ear, doing a bit more uh, with marketing automation solutions mm -hmm. as it relates to kind of the global side of the business, right. and then taking all of that learning right. and building it into a, a broader localization strategy for web, for social, and, and the like. So right. um, for, if I was to, to kind of guide somebody, it would simply be to um, test early and often, yeah. um, certainly learn what is working in terms of uh, converting those, those uh, future customers into existing customers, right. um, and go from there. I don't think you need to, you know, again, I invest in a, in a you know, multi-million dollars types of solutions or even strategy uh, to really get the, the true benefits out of it. Unless you have clients, then, you know, or they have the purchasing power or the interest in that particular product. Precisely. Then you are, if you're not doing that, you're wasting your That's right. uh, efforts. So, uh, yeah. the, the, I was just going to add, the beautiful thing we have, we have some customers today that what it allows them to do, and, you know, kind of the, one of the main benefits of the cloud is, again, it allows you to consume what you need and when you need it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, we're finding that um, by doing a, a bit of kind of these new techniques, they're able to not only spot the demand, but in fact, actually onboard customers in advance. So they're aligning the revenue side with the cost side, whereas before it used to be they had to outlay you know, six months in advance cost into multilingual and localization right. before they saw a, a pound or a right. dollar of revenue, right. and now it's more of an alignment. So they're able to actually, in some cases, see revenue and align the revenue with the cost. So that's really interesting. Uh, what I would kind of follow up question is, uh, can you give some 
examples of these tools, techniques, which can help company to this test market before they invest more? Yeah, so I, I would say, again, a, a big one today. I mean, there, there are several solutions on the market today, but um, the one we were obviously discussing this morning uh, is Marketo. And Marketo is, is one of the leading marketing automation tools out there. Um, like any cloud solution, they have different additions that you can choose from. So again, if you're a, a small, medium business, they have solutions that are dedicated to you, um, mid-market and enterprise. But um, I would take a look at a solution like a Marketo or uh, uh, you know, something of that ilk that um, certainly could get you off the ground and, and running quickly. Um, and then at the same time, begin to truly kind of test, uh, if, again, if your ambition is global, uh, begin to test, uh, A-B test just like you do in probably your home market, different um, content or different strategies around subject lines, what have you, to see what works and what doesn't work. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Nick. Thank you.